The VPC is made up of subnets, which must be built on availability zones in the region. A subnet can be either public or private. A public subnet can route traffic to the internet. A private subnet's traffic never leaves the VPC. A VPC must be built with CIDR, or classless interdomain routing, which is a range of private IP addresses that conform to RFC 1918. All subnets in a VPC must have private IP ranges that are part of the VPC CIDR range. Route tables are built for each VPC that configure paths for traffic. Traffic cannot flow outside of the network without security groups, which are firewalls that can be applied to the virtual machine or network. Network access control lists can be configured to allow or deny traffic to the subnet, but they are not stateful. The networking services that Google and Amazon provide can vary in terms of their scope, as indicated here in parentheses. The key takeaways is that Google VPC networks are global, and the subnets span regions, not availability zones, as in the case of AWS. Global networks offer a farther out-of-the-box reach, which means that you can create a single private network that is global without having to connect multiple private networks and manage those spaces separately. You can also define multiple networks per project for added flexibility. We'll cover this in more detail later.